Hey everybody, so this week we are going to get into how to create brick. There are a couple different strategies to do brick. Um, you can model a single brick and then use a uh, some type of smart duplication method inside of 3, 3D uh, content creation tools like Maya, Blender, 3ds Max. You could also just create a flat surface and then handle it all with texture. Um, in which case I would recommend using Substance Painter. For those of you that followed along with my snow globe tutorial at the end of last year, uh, the way that we went about it was a flat model and handle all the brick in texture. So I had a question come in to elaborate on that because we covered it relatively quickly in the tutorial. So I'm going to create this video just to cover how to create brick as a texture and just so that we're all on the same page, the brick that we are looking at creating is going to look something like this. So this is our snow globe project. Here's the brick. All of that's based in texture. Cool. So let's hop back over into Substance Painter where we have imported our model. Uh, if you need to get to a model, you can always come over here and go to New, Select, Pick the right uh, model over here. Get all of the uh, settings dialed in how you want. Really all of them by default are pretty fine. And then we're gonna work on it. So if you wanna go back and see how we modeled this or basics of modeling, um, that is back in the tutorial videos that I'll link in the description. But for now, let's just dive right in. So we wanna start off with a grout or something that'll go in between the bricks that the bricks go on top of. So I'm going to grab a coarse concrete and drag that as a new layer. That looks okay. Um, we probably wanna do triplanar projection and turn the tiling up a bit. Something like that I think will work just fine. And then uh, I probably wanna make it a little bit darker since it is going to be grout. And we want to then get into a brick material. So there's no brick that I know of that's a smart material inside of the software. However, I do think what we used in the tutorial ended up working pretty well, which is the bone. So let's go look for that. I believe it was called organic bone. Huh, maybe it was just a uh, standard material. Let's go see. It was. Okay, so we don't want to change the coarse concrete, but we do want to drag organic bone as a new layer on top of. So if I turn it off, we go back into the concrete. So here it is back on. So what we want to do is to get a few of the colors dialed in. For the most part, I'm not too dissatisfied with this. I'll probably go a little bit more light here, probably a bit darker gray here. And then for the stains, we're gonna go a little bit red for that brick. And then let's come in here and just turn up the stain density. something like that. So I'm just dialing up the settings within bone here. Now what we want to do is to mask out the bone where we want the concrete to show through. So in order to do that, I'm going to right click and do add a black mask. Then we're going to right click and add a fill layer. And for the grayscale of the fill layer, I want to use brick. So we're going to go maybe something like this. And we're going to come down inside of here and go to pattern because we want to change the brick pattern. So let's change up the amount of bricks in both directions. Just kind of eyeballing it over here on the side. 
I'm going to turn this coarse concrete much darker just so that we have a better, a better view of what we're doing. And then back up here in the brick generator inside of pattern, um, I can see that I actually want I want I think I want to take the bevel down on both sides I also want to rotate is that right maybe we'll, let's take back the rotate and let's just try this instead I don't like that. I think the rotate is the right call. Pull the bevel back down. Rotate at 90. And then we want to pull in a lot more bricks this way. The other thing that we haven't really done is done a uh, triplanar projection, which will probably <laughs> undo a lot of what I just did, and that's okay. I think that's going to get us something that we're happier with in the end. So I'm going to undo the rotation after doing the triplanar projection. And I want to dial back. That's starting to look pretty good as a brick. Main thing I want to do is just get it about the width that I have here um, between my different stair stepping layers so that it looks like it's about as much as a brick to go up. Uh, I like that. I think that's looking pretty good. And that to me looks relatively brick shaped. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is to come into our bone material. I believe is it in channels. Oh, maybe it's in technical parameters. Here we go. We want to turn up the height position. So right now we have the height here with a black mask that's showing us what's underneath it. So let me turn the height position up. And in doing so, we're having a nice cut go into the geometry from what we're seeing. Um, because it's all in the texture, there is actually no geometry moving. Um, so this is really nice. So I'm happy with that. What I would probably do at this point is start to uh, play with a few of the different features. So if I don't really like how wide the bricks are, I can pull up the X, do something a bit more like that. And I can play with all of it in a way that's still procedurally made for now. Um, once I export, it exports as raster images that go over to Unity. One last thing that I tend to do before I take uh, textures over into Unity is I'll generally check it out with iRay just to see how it's going to look with a bit more uh, dynamic lighting. So I'm going to click on iRay up here. Um, if anyone wants a walkthrough of the Adobe Substance Painter UI at some point, let me know. I'd be more than happy to walk through what each of these icons do, uh, baking, maps, uh, and so on and so forth. But for now, I'm just going to go into iRay. And you can move around here almost like it's a, an Arnold window in Maya or something comparable. Uh, if you need to move the lighting around, you can hold down shift and right click and rotate the lighting around so that you can really start to see what this is going to look like. Um, you can see how this is starting to look a lot more like what we saw over in Unity just a minute ago. So looking at that, this is what we have here pretty dimly lit uh, dark scenes so that we could have the fire and the lights do a lot of the hard, uh, heavy lifting rather. But uh, this is it in iRay. Um, once you're satisfied, get that exported and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and do that really quickly. If I go to file, export textures, I'll pick where I want them to go. And I'm going to pick the pipeline that I'm using in Unity, which is HDRP. And then I'm going to export whenever you get over into Unity. Looking at this material, what we did over here is took the three outputs on the material that's been applied to this fireplace, and we assigned them each individually. So we had the color, we have the mask map, and we have the normal. 
And that is it. That's how to get brick from substance into Unity. We did all of the brick using basic materials. We didn't have to hand paint a thing. So it's a really quick way to accomplish bricks. And I didn't see many tutorials out there online that addressed how to do this without purchasing a plugin or without modeling an individual brick and then uh, duplicating. So hope that that was helpful. Let me know if you all have other suggestions or questions about the content that you see, and I'm happy to make more videos about it. Have a great day. See you.